and continuing coverage of carbon project traveling through a number of states. KX News previously spoke with those against the project. Tonight, Adrian Oglesby shares what leaders of the project have to say. After a number of bills failed to see full life in our state's legislative session relating to eminent domain and CO2 pipelines, many want to know what is next. Will the proposed Summit Carbon Solutions Project make its way here in North Dakota once and for all? Well, I reached out to the executive director of the project who provided us with a statement acknowledging their next steps and more. Well, in the beginning of the statement from executive director Wade Basons, quote, Summit Carbon Solutions appreciates the work of the North Dakota Public Service Commission and looks forward to continuing to advance our project through the regulatory process, end quote. To refresh your memory, the project plans to capture CO2 from 32 ethanol plants across five states, putting aggregated CO2 into a newly constructed pipeline system and deliver it to Western North Dakota for injection and permanent storage. As we recently reported earlier this week and throughout the summer, many argue there are several risks including leaks and loss in property value. As those who are for the project say the project will be great for our growing main industries. The statement from Baysons went on to say, quote, Summit Carbon Solutions has partnered with more than 750 North Dakota landowners to sign nearly two-thirds of the proposed pipeline route and more than 85 percent of the sequestration area in the state. This extraordinary level of support shows that North Dakotans believe our project is safe and will enhance the long-term viability of the energy and agriculture industries, strengthen land values and commodity prices for our farmers and generate tens of millions of dollars in new revenue for local communities across the Midwest, end quote. This is a developing story. Reporting for KX News, I'm Adrian Oglesby. Adrian will continue seeking answers to when the digging will start, if any routes have been changed and more. To follow our coverage on the CO2 pipeline, visit kxnet.com.